and welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's nighttime here and today I am going to be um, showing you a little bit about maps. And the goal for this is because I I made an estate a long time ago. It's more of like a city, a city and it's located pretty far away of where I was first spawned when I first started this game, when I first created this world. Um, since then, what I did was I visited a cartographer in that city and he gave me what's called an explorer map. So there's different kinds of maps. The first kind of map is the map that you use to explore the world that's around you. Um, and this can take, you know, you can make the map as big as you want or like the maps can be composed of other maps and you can make them as big as you want or as little as you want. And you, you use a cartography table to um, kind of manipulate the size of the map. Well, the other kind of map is called an explorer map, and these can only be purchased um, from what's called a cartographer. And a cartographer is a villager that has access to a cartography table. And so, and so, um, once you go visit this cartographer, you can purchase special kind of maps, and they're called explorer maps. And explorer maps are basically like rare generated, uh, they, they show you rare generated structures, so like woodland mansions, ocean monuments, and buried treasure. Um, an example is, here's a buried treasure map. So I didn't get this buried treasure map from the cartographer, I actually got this from a treasure chest one day when I was looking around, and it tells you the location of where um, the buried treasure is. You can see the X on the map, and then I'm the little circle down on the bottom right of the map. And as you get closer to where the treasure is, the circle gets larger. And it's kind of the same for the, the player generated maps too. You'll see if you click on one of these maps, um, you'll see like a large circle there. That's basically me just telling me uh, which direction I have to go to actually um, go back to part of this map. So unfortunately, all my maps are mixed up, so I have to put them all in order in order to find my city again because I am quite far away. I went um, to the cartographer in the city and I purchased an explorer map. I got a woodland mansion map, which led me over here. And uh, later when the sun's up, I can show you, but the woodland mansion's all the way over here. You can kind of see it, but it's it's too dark. Um, so I, I purchased that map. I walked a whole long row of maps, <laughs> so it was very far away. And now I'm going to try to make my way back to the city so I can show you a video of the uh, city that I was constructing for my villagers, because that was my very first, well, one of my first projects when I entered this world. Um, I believe the city is also connected to a rail link. Um, it's been so long since I'm, I've been back there, so I don't remember, but I made up this railway station um, and it connects to my very, very first estate where I spawned first in the game. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about maps, um, get my maps back in order, and then plan my trip on the way back. The The problem is, is I wanted to also build like a railway um, connecting this estate to the city, which I think will be really cool, but we're going to have to plan that out a bit before we go back because um, it is quite far away and we'll see in a, in a few minutes uh, exactly how far it is. So what you're going to need for this um, project, or I guess to make a map, is you're going to need a crafting table. You're going to need a cartography table. You don't need one, but I recommend you have one because they're very helpful um, boxes. You'll need some iron ingots and you'll need some redstone dust and some sugar cane. And then I use item frames to hold my map up against the wall here just so I can see where I'm going. So the sugar cane, you can place it inside um, the crafting table. And if you just put sugar cane in one spot of the crafting table, it can be turned into sugar. But if you have it in a line, um, then you can get paper. So what I like to do is um, I'm just gonna split up my sugar cane here and try to make it as even as I can. And shift and left click and it's gonna make a bunch of paper for me. And then I'm just gonna do it again. Shift and left click. Uh, and then it makes a bunch of paper and then two more times, there we go. So now we have tons and tons of paper. That means we can make lots of maps. We're also gonna need to make a compass and compass are, are made out of um, iron ingots and redstone dust. The reason why the compass is important is because you combine the compass and the paper to make a map. So we're going to make a few compasses. 
um, just so we get an idea of how to do it. So we have four compasses here, which means we can make four maps. And then the patterns for making maps are you put all of the paper surrounding a compass and it gives you an empty map. So we're just gonna do that. Um, oh, you can stack the compasses. I, I didn't think you could do that, but well, that's great. So we're just gonna make a few um, maps here. We're gonna make four maps and I'm just moving my paper around. To divide your paper pile in half, all you have to do is right click it and it'll divide it in half for you. Um, if you just wanna have one, let's say um, you want this to be 12 instead of 11, you can take a pile of paper and then right click once and then it'll just drop one of the papers into that pile. So that's what I was doing there. Um, and then it looks like you can stack your maps as well. So that's all done. Um, to get the stacks back, like to clean the stacks up, I just right, I double left clicked. So for example, let's just spread these out a bit. If you double left click on a pile, it'll move all of the paper into that pile. So we're done with this, these materials right now, which is great. Um, we do have a couple of empty maps, which we might use in the future, and we have a couple of uh, item frames. The next step is, let's say you found a new area and you're excited to explore it um, and it's outside of your map zone. So for example, this is the map of where we are right now. So you can see um, my dot there uh, is the big um, white dot showing which direction I'm facing. So it has a little bit of an arrow there. So here I'm facing north and directly north to me, if we walk over here, you can kind of see it now is the Woodland Mansion. So that was what I was interested in looking at for the first time. I explored it, but I did explore it on peaceful mode, so I didn't run into any of the mobs or anything, but that's kind of like the whole point of going into Woodland Mansion is defeating the mobs that are inside because they give you rare materials. Um, but I was just curious to know like what this the Woodland Mansion was, and I can make another video, but I've already started taking it down, so it's not a true Woodland Mansion anymore. Um, I was using it for resources. Anyhow, so let's say you walk to the end of this map here and you want to start a new map. So what you do is um, you have to separate your maps from your other maps. So you're going to make four of the same map and that's going to be a waste of maps. So you have one map in your hand and you right click and it kind of shows you now the, um, the map of my estate. So you can see it's very zoomed in. If you don't want a zoomed in map and you want to explore the entire area, you go over to a cartography table and you place your map um, your map down in this spot right here and then you place paper down and then you'll see that you keep um, clicking until it's done and it makes the most magnified map that you can have of this space. So instead of a zoomed in map of my estate, now it's showing me the location and then now I can go and explore and I'm not using um, too many maps if I'm exploring a far distance. So that's what I did in this um, in this uh, situation here. I made a whole bunch of maps from my city all the way up here somewhere, all the way down to where we are today. And uh, that's what we're gonna need to organize and, and sort through. So I'm just gonna toss this map because I don't wanna get confused with my other maps. I'm pretty bad. Uh, I don't have any more treasure chests. Let's, I mean, chests. Uh, hmm. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna grab one of these. So this will be like our garbage maps. <laughs> we'll stick them in here. So we know map uh, 321 is a garbage map because we were just experimenting and then here's a couple of my resources that I don't really need right now just because it's gonna get a little messy when we pull out all the maps and try to sort through them. I'm gonna keep my item frames here because I think that'll be helpful and map 230 is where we started. So map 230 is us right now. So I know everything over 230 is something that I recently discovered. So I'm gonna put all of those maps over here in this treasure chest. So everything over 230 is just gonna confuse us if we, um, so I have a map here, um, buried treasure map we don't really need. I'm gonna toss 230 back there. Um, so this is something we're gonna need. Uh, this is 311, so this is something we can put in the other chest. I'll show you how to make a copy of maps because uh, that's really helpful too. So what you can do is if you have a copy of your map, you can leave a copy at home so it's safe and then you can explore with the other copy and what will happen is it'll fill out both maps. 
And that's really helpful because let's say you die um, while you're out exploring and you get respawned back in your estate here. Well, it'll still keep a copy of your map. So then you don't have to worry about losing all that information. So it's very helpful to have copies. Um, 209, 214, 219. 246 is too high because remember it has to be below 230. And then let's see what all of these are. 270, 277, okay. So these can come over here. I just want to make sure I don't get my maps confused. So I've done a lot of exploring just because I like to see what's around me. Okay, let's see what we have now. So we've got 251 that can go. Uh, yeah, it looks like all of these. 300 can go too. All right. So now we have all of the maps that we're going to need to get back to my city. So let's put these maps in order now. So I know 230 was the latest because that's where my estate is now. Um, we do have uh, 219. I keep thinking I'm missing a map somehow because 230, usually it goes by fives. But I don't know where the other one is, so we're going to have to make do. 204. Now oh, this one's missing. Okay. 294, 189, and 178. So it looks like I made a copy of 178 too. So this is where we are now. So we'll start, let's put an item frame down here because this might get pretty tall. <laughs> and uh, here's 230. And here is the next one. Yeah, it's gonna get, okay, well, we'll just start over here again. Well, we'll put it here so we don't get confused. And like that. And finally, there. And the problem is, is this doesn't even go back to my city. It goes back to a base I made because I found this cool biome. Once I get back to that biome, I'll, I'll do a video and I'll show you what that biome looks like. Um, but it's really cool. It's made of all of these different kinds of stones that you can use if you put them in the furnace. They make all these really cool colored stones. I think I have a couple over here I can show you. But it's supp supposedly a very rare biome. Um, yeah, so it makes like the white glazed terracotta, um, and I had a few other colors like this, the green glazed terracotta, and uh, all that. So it's a lot of it's a lot of fun to put those into the furnace. So once I get back here, I'll do a video um, before actually heading back to the city. So you can see where one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine maps away. So that's really far. Um, and then I think we're another like two or three maps away from from here. Once we get to this location, I made a little um, fort. It's like a little house. And inside the, the house, I have um, additional maps that'll lead us back to the city. It's just after a while, it's kind of cumbersome to walk around with all of these maps in your hands um, when you don't really need to. Um, another thing I did before I'm going to leave on my expe expedition is I, um, I wrote down my coordinates. And to do this, you can hit the F2 button. Oops, sorry, the um, the F3 button. F2 takes a screenshot, so I just took a, a screenshot. And you can see on the left-hand side, if you go all the way down to the XYZ, it's in the second paragraph kind of of this code, that's gonna be your coordinates. And that's what you're gonna need to write down so you know, um, you know, if you get lost, you can always come back to your state because you'll know where the coordinates are. You can always pull this up no matter where you are. So I'm just gonna close that. And uh, let's prepare for our journey. So we're gonna have all of these maps in our hand and I'd like to keep them in order so I don't get confused. So I'm just gonna pop them down one at a time. Okay, and we're gonna start with map 230 and we'll keep all of the other maps in order so it does take up a lot of space. Um, so that limits the amount of resources that we can actually take with us. And if we looked at the map, there's also like a part of the map where it shows you have to cross a body of water. So I'm probably not going to bring my horse. I'm probably just going to walk there. We do need a shovel 
And we do need a pickaxe. I'm kind of weary about bringing one of these because um, it's only half good. We might have to make another one. So maybe what I'll do is I'll bring some sticks. Um, we'll bring some torches. Uh, I'll bring a boat. Boats are always good for traveling in. And... I don't really need food because, again, I'm in the peaceful mode, so my health never goes down even even if I don't eat, which is nice. I think I'll bring a couple of leads because they're always good um, if you want to catch an animal, for example. And maybe I will bring um, maybe I will bring a saddle. I'm not going to take my good horses with me. I, I like them too much. They can stay here. But I will take um, my armor and my saddle uh, in case I find a spare horse that I can just ride and, you know, it'll help me go a certain distance and then I can come back. I'm going to take one of these so I can tie up the horse later um, if I need to rest for a while or if I'm exploring. And, hmm. I'm never really worried about the direction I'm going because uh, I have my maps. They tell me which direction I'm going. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, I am worried about... I'm a little bit worried about leaving the house. <laughs> But I think everything's going to be okay. Usually I bring back the iron with me because if I'm going to build a train track on the way back, it's a good way to start. But I think, well, maybe I should. Okay, so I'm going to bring the iron back with me. Iron and gold. And then I can build some train tracks uh, and maybe like a train system on the way back here. And I'll bring a couple of diamonds in case one of my tool breaks. And... Uh, let's collect some of this iron. You have to be really careful with iron because, uh, I mean, like if you're carrying this much iron with you and you're carrying all of your iron, uh, you don't want to die. So don't never take any risks. I'm bringing some money in case I run into a, a wandering traveler. Um, I'm going to bring a couple stacks of gold because you'll need those to power the, the rail tracks. I think I have enough redstone back at my other place. Okay, it looks like I'm ready. Normally you would, you know, dress in full armor and bring a crossbow. I think I'll put on some armor just because I might actually fall somewhere and and hurt myself. So gold really isn't the best armor. It does look pretty, but <laughs> this one's pretty good. Um, so I'm just looking for armor that's going to protect me and maybe I can use during swimming. So the respiration helmet. Uh, I do need a pair of shoes and a chest piece. I don't have many chest pieces here. I guess I'm going to have to use, I'm going to have to use a gold chest piece and I do need some shoes. Uh, so we'll go for unbreaking. I'm, I'm still kind of learning how the armor works. So if I chose the wrong things, I'm, I apologize. <laughs> Bear with me. Um, okay. So it looks like everything, I think, I think we're ready. We're ready to go. We have our maps and we're gonna head north. We're gonna say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> and we're gonna start to head back to my city. And hopefully it won't take too long uh, to build a, a connection between my estate and the city again. Cause I'm gonna miss this place. <laughs> okay, I might leave when it's light out. <laughs> It's a little too dark. I know you can make a potion that'll let you see in the dark, but uh, I haven't figured out how to do that yet. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.